It's taking lots of patience and teamwork, but the wait will be well worth it. The Student Center that opened in 1970 will have a whole new look and feel when this project is complete in 2014. This is the scene on the north side of Downing University Center. We have a site contractor on, on the grounds has started to do exterior demolitions. You'll see the construction fencing has gone up in one lane. That's because the old DUC with the trademark spiral staircases will soon give way to this. We'll have uh, open staircases that will allow you to see that there's multiple floors um, from top to bottom. This major undertaking has been divided into two phases. First phase affects the north side or the Avenue Champion sides of the building. And in phase two in 2013, starting after commencement, we'll go to the Minton Hall side of the building and start that work. The ground floor of Duck has already been gutted with the post office, ID center, and other offices relocating to Garrett Conference Center. The WKU store is also being emptied out and will soon open back up in the Garrett ballroom. Accessibility wise, you can't beat the store. Meanwhile, the WKU store has found another new home on South Campus. We figured that we're gonna have to have a warehouse, a receiving area, uh, someplace off campus that will have uh, accessibility to large trucks. So we ran across the old Goodwill building, and the old Goodwill building had store frontage. The location on Nashville Road has already been a big hit. And our first few customers were actually out of town folks. They were people who were here visiting Bowling Green and drove by and realized that there was a store here. It's a preview of what's ahead next year when a massive WKU store opens in the renovated DUC. We're going to be right next to the football stadium, right next to the basketball stadium on ground level. A radical renovation that some say will make Duck the Taj Mahal of student centers. WKU's fresh food dining service will close after commencement next month and a temporary dining facility will open on South Lawn at the end of July to serve the campus until the entire project is completed in two years. With this week's View from the Hill, I'm Amy Bingham.